guys, it's Sheena from Teton Raptor Center and I'm here to give you all this week's patient updates. So let's go ahead and get started. To kick things off this week is our newest bird, Great Horned Owl 130. And this bird was unfortunately struck by a vehicle late at night over the weekend in Ryrie, Idaho. Right now she's currently on supplemental oxygen and is being treated for head trauma, a corneal ulcer that's actually in her left eye. You can see her pupil is really dilated there, so there is quite a bit of trauma to the eye. And there's also some bruising on the left side of the body near her humerus, so she is also getting cold laser therapy every morning for that. She does weigh a lot, um, and we're confident that when she was in the wild, she was thriving and hunting and catching food without an issue, so it's always good to get in a bird that comes in at a healthy weight. Next up is Red-Tailed Hawk 116, and this is the bird that was hit by a car in Shelly, Idaho. Right now, he is actually able to eat and hunt on his own after spending some time with Redtail 525 and having that other adult bird show this younger guy the ropes a little bit. Um, he is living in his own space at the moment, um, just gaining some weight now that he's eating on his own. And we plan to move him out into the flight barn separately without living with Redtail 525 for flight conditioning in preparation for release back into the wild. Up next is Common Raven 111, and this is the bird that was shot in Jackson, Wyoming and underwent surgery for a broken ulna. Um, because ravens are highly intelligent birds, it's important to provide enough enrichment and stimulation to keep them happy. And being in the ICU is not exactly a happy place for a bird to be. And we suspected that the bird might be showing early signs of clinical depression as a result. So we did have to move her to an outdoor enclosure, which is not always the best for a bird with a broken wing, but mental health is just as important. And we feel that having space outdoors with low ground perches where she can hop around and enjoy more space and have natural light will be really beneficial for her. We are gonna continue daily physical therapy and we hope that this new change of enclosure will be a great thing for her. Here we have Great Horned Owl 1112, and this is the bird that had a fractured radius and ulna after being hit by a car in Cokeville, Wyoming. Now she did have surgery to fix that, and although her wing is completely fixed, she still needs daily physical therapy to improve the range of motion in her wrist and her elbow. Um, both are basically at full extension. We've just got a little bit more to go. And then we expect in about a week, she'll be ready to move in the flight barn and begin flight conditioning. Up next is Swainson's Hawk 831. And this is the bird that is going to be joining our education team here at Teton Raptor Center as she's completely blind in her left eye and would not be able to hunt in the wild like that. Um, we have been flying her from glove to glove, person to person in her enclosure since she is capable of flying without any problems and she is picking up these new skills so quickly. We're continued to be surprised by her and we're just grateful that she's extremely comfortable on the glove and around humans and we're really excited to have this opportunity to work with her and transition her to our education program. Next up is Red-Tailed Hawk 525, and this bird is still doing great. Here he is flying in the flight barn, and we plan to release him in the spring when the snowpack is less dense to give him the best possible chance at surviving in the wild. Last but not least is our female golden eagle that we've had since April, and she is still awaiting paperwork to be transferred to the Ecotarium in Massachusetts um, because it's a government entity that we're waiting on the transfer paperwork for. It can take quite a long time to get processed, but rest assured she has a great life here with us and she's welcome to stay with us as long as that paperwork takes. All right, that's all we've got for this week. I hope you all enjoyed learning more about our birds and I look forward to talking with you next week. Bye.